Well, thank you all for coming and uh, let, helping us to ask our, our uh, folks here at Carl Sandberg House how the shutdown that Mark Meadows engineered would really did affect them. And uh, we've heard from the park ranger that um, they, they approximately approximately sixty four thousand sixty four thousand people would have visited during the sixteen days of the shutdown. That would be a loss of what four hundred forty five. $4,500 loss of revenue. $4,500 loss of revenue. That's a lot of money. This is not the time to be shutting down jobs where people earn money to spend in our state. This is the peak tourist season, and that doesn't seem like a very good idea. But um, that is exactly what... Um, our representative, the architect of the shutdown, <coughs> chose to do. Now, some of us would like to ask Mr. Meadows some questions about why he thought this was a good idea. Uh, does anybody have a question for Mr. Meadows right now? I do. Why would he choose to oppose something that was signed into the law three years ago and supported by the Supreme Court because they know it wasn't going to go anywhere. Well, there's his answer. He says, kill Obamacare. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anybody else have a, a question for the good representative? Yes, if he's so concerned about uh, Obamacare or the Affordable Health Care Plan, what is his party's plan for health care for everyone? What are they going to do? What do they propose? He says, I guess they're keeping it under wraps. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I have a question. I wonder if he ever thought about, and I'll just use the example that we just heard from the ranger here, do you ever think about out of 17 employees here, 17 rangers, that 14 of them were furloughed with no idea of when they were going to go back to work, if they were going to go back to work, what happens to their salaries and what happens to their benefits? Did you ever think about that multiplied by millions of people in the country? Does he have an answer for me? 